Deep beneath the surface, coral polyps, tiny, soft-bodied animals, are the world's greatest builders. Over thousands of years, they create vast reefs visible from space, housing a quarter of all marine life. Their construction method? Patience. A single reef may take centuries to grow, yet it shields coastlines, sustains fisheries, and balances entire ecosystems. And in the cold rivers of the north, the beaver reshapes landscapes. Its dams turn flowing rivers into calm wetlands, creating habitats for frogs, fish, and birds. By slowing water, they reduce erosion and even store carbon. A single beaver colony can transform an entire ecosystem, nature's own civil engineers. In North America's plains, prairie dogs build underground networks so vast they've been called subterranean metropolises. Each tunnel connects to others, with nurseries, sleeping chambers, and emergency exits. Their design improves airflow, water drainage, and temperature control, lessons in sustainability from creatures smaller than a shoe. Meanwhile, moles shape their own highways beneath the soil, aerating and fertilizing as they move, quietly improving the land for others. The spider, nature's mathematician. Its web is a masterpiece of geometry, tension, and physics, strong enough to hold prey many times its weight. Silk threads thinner than hair, yet stronger than steel by weight, are inspiring scientists to create bioengineered materials of the future. The mud dauber wasp constructs delicate clay chambers, one for each egg. Every nest is both fortress and nursery. Handcrafted with precision, no human tool can match. From ants to coral, from beavers to birds, nature's builders remind us that architecture is more than design. It's survival, it's sustainability, it's harmony between form and environment. Today, architects study termite mounds to design eco-buildings, coral growth to develop marine structures, and spider silk to create new materials. Nature was the first engineer and still the best. Every leaf, every stone, every web is a blueprint of balance. The builders of nature teach us that the strongest structures are those that work with the earth, not against it. If we listen, if we learn, we might just build a world as resilient and as beautiful as theirs.